Coming up, shocking news coming out of North Alabama. The sentencing for a teenager who killed his entire family in just a moment. And a company is pulling its products off the shelves after reports of injuries have come out. First on the Gulf Coast with breaking news and weather, Fox 10 News starts now. Good morning and thanks for choosing Fox 10 News on this Saturday morning. I'm Anaya Spraggs. Let's start with checking in with meteorologist Nicholas Arboso in the Storm Tracker Center. All right, yeah, so we've got a nice morning. It's been a really nice out there. In fact, if you stepped outside, if you have not stepped outside, I highly recommend that you do because it feels nice outside thanks to drier air. Dry and mostly sunny conditions will be the story for today and really the next couple of days. Another thing that we're tracking, Hurricane Lee in the Atlantic. I'm going to give you a quick update on that. Right now, Category 3, but weakening. In fact, it's likely going to become a Category 2 in the coming hours, but then re-strengthen into a Category 4, possibly pushing Category 5 strength once again before it makes its right turn. That's pretty much all you need to know on lead no land impacts land areas impact in the next five days according to this code and really looking far out I'm talking 10 days Bermuda and maybe New England Canadian Maritimes will be the only places that really need to watch this no chance that it gets into the Gulf of Mexico and no tropical threats for the Gulf of Mexico at this time one thing it is doing well we are feeling nice out there 73 degrees in Mobile 70 in Gulf Shore 75 in Pensacola 69 in Molino so it's just a good morning out there dew points also very low Low, that's a great thing to see when you're in the low 60s. That's great. It feels good out there. Taking a look at your day planner for today, we do warm up quite a bit. We're talking middle 90s in some areas, low 90s elsewhere. And you're going to be like, oh, no, that looks hot. Well, no heat index today. Don't worry about it. No need to worry about heat index today. Thanks to that drier air. If we have humidity, yeah, we have to worry about the heat index, but not today. So mostly sunny conditions. And I know we have football out there today, so it looks like it's going to be just fine, just a little bit hot at the start of the game. I'll have that football forecast and much more coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Nick. Former Citronelle Police Chief Tyler Norris was sentenced to 30 days in jail after rejecting a plea deal. The former police chief admitted he violated the rights of Isaiah McCree, who led police on a high-speed chase two years ago. Norris admitted to assaulting McCree while he was in handcuffs after being arrested. Two, two juries in the case could not reach a verdict. Prosecutors recommended no jail time as part of Norris's guilty plea, but the judge ruled Norris deserved time behind bars, referring to his conduct as reprehensible. Defense attorney Jeff Dean says he was surprised by the sentence. Two trials, could never, nobody, no, he did not get convicted in either one. Former Citronelle police chief didn't get convicted of a felony, but we'll tell you why the judge says he deserves time in jail for the misdemeanor he did admit to. Plus, Amtrak service from Mobile to New Orleans derailed for now, so. When could the steel wheels roll? Jason? And tracking a major hurricane in the Atlantic as we're looking at Lee. Also, what about some drier air around here? We're in for a little treat. We'll talk about that coming up. It's high school game day here out at Rams Field. Gulf Shores coming to Mobile to take on the Faith Academy Rams. We're hanging out with the cheerleaders, the band, doing some previews with some head coaches. It's been, been a good time so far, Al. It really has. We're going to have a preview of this game and some other huge matchups. It's region week. That's coming up next. First on the Gulf Coast with breaking news and weather, Fox 10 News starts now. Welcome in. It's Friday. I'm Lisa Thagon. I'm Byron Day. Thanks so much for choosing Fox 10 News at 5. Let's get right to our top story. New from us at 5, a federal judge sentencing former Citronelle Police Chief Tyler Norris to 30 days in jail after rejecting a plea deal. The former police chief admitted he violated the rights of Isaiah McCree, who led police on a high-speed chase two years ago. Norris admitted to assaulting McCree while he was in handcuffs after being arrested. Two juries in the case could not reach a verdict. Prosecutors recommended no jail time as part of Norris' guilty plea, but the judge ruling today that Norris deserved time behind bars, calling his conduct, and we quote, reprehensible. Attorney Jeff Dean says he was surprised by the sentence. Rams versus Dolphins here in Mobile for a 5A matchup. Both teams coming in at 2-0, but tonight someone will walk away with their first loss of the season. 
Welcome back to High School Game Day. I'm Emily Cochran here with Hustlin' House Sherrick. Hello. We're out here at Ram Field. We've had a great time today. This has just been a good time. The cheerleaders, the band, we hung out with head coach Jack French, did some game previews, but now we got to take some picks. That's right. I, before we do that, though, I just want to say I'm impressed by the Ram faithful. I mean, yes. it's 530, and the stands are already filling up here. Just saying that uh, – I give them an A for that. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. For sure. So, yes, we do need to make some picks. Uh, I guess we should do this game first. Yeah, we should. We should. Who are you picking, Hal? Who are you picking? <laughs> you I like to, to hear first? yours first. I think it's going to be a nice destination experience for people. Top golf starting to take shape in McGowan Park. Fox 10 talking to some local golfers about this new attraction. We'll let you listen to what they had to say. Plus five teens arrested at Davidson High School after a gun was found in a backpack. And we're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Lee in the Atlantic. Plus, we're looking at our local situation with some drier air already in place. We'll talk about the weekend coming up. Then your live look into some of the night's Friday night high school football action. Fox News at 9 is starting now. First on the Gulf Coast with breaking news and weather, Fox 10 News starts now. We do have a lot to get to tonight. Thank you for being here. I'm Lenny Slagon. Byron is off. Well, first at 9, Mobile Police say a Davidson High School student took a gun on campus today after he and four other students broke into a nearby house. Detectives went to the school looking for the five students after that break in. Police say one of the students had a gun in his backpack. Detectives say another student had some marijuana. All five teens were taken to the Strickland Youth Center. We well, at nine, a Monroe County man arrested today, accused of causing a crash that killed an elderly Bay Manette couple. 45-year-old James Williams of URI booked on two counts of manslaughter. According to jail records, he was released on a $100,000 bond. Now, that crash happened last October on Highway 225 near Stockton. State troopers say Williams truck rear ended another truck, causing it to hit a tree. 82 year old James Smith and his wife, 76 year old Juanita Smith were killed. According to the crash report, Williams story of what happened just did not match the evidence at the scene.